Love it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so give me some advice for someone. No, let's do this. Your younger sister's getting into real estate right now. Mm-hmm. And what are you going to tell her uh, to expect and what to do and what not to do, who to listen to, who not to listen to? Mm. Not in that order. Sure. So first and foremost, I mean, I think anybody who's coming into real estate needs to know that it's a very stressful and a very demanding job. And that once you get to a certain level, there really are no days off. It really is 24 seven. You know, I mentioned earlier that I thought real estate would give me more flexibility. Right. I think it does in some ways. Right. But you're always on call. You know, you are always, there's always some sort of issue that you have to resolve, right? Um, Or some urgent need, whether a house floods or, you know, someone drives their car through the garage door. Right. You know, it, there's always right. something that's happening. Right. And so you have to be on call and you, you can't seem bothered um, when those calls come in. So... I think, um, number one, I would want to make sure my younger sister or my daughter or my son, who are both thinking, you know, this might be the way to go, right. that they understand, like, look at how much we sacrifice right. in order to have this career, um, first and foremost. And what I would tell them to do is to give back, to volunteer, um, to get involved in your community. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever it is that you care about, whether it's baseball or knitting or cooking or whatever it is, make that a part of your business right? so you can at least enjoy the work, right, that comes with it. Like if I was a cook, oh my gosh, I would probably be doing 10 times more business than what I'm doing right now because I would be on Instagram and TikTok making cooking cooking videos and being like, hey, by the way, if you want a kitchen like this, call me. We can make that happen for you. Right. You know, I mean- Find something that you love and use it to help you in your business. Right. Um, Because then you're kind of blending this perfect world for yourself, you know. And for me, it's fashion and interior design and um, artistry and um, also just the pure blessing I get from giving back to people. So for me, real estate is a perfect world because I'm able to exercise all of that right. in my career. And that's why it's easy for me to work 16-hour days. I think you have to find a way. You know, I could go back and I wouldn't bore you with the stuff in my career, but I can tell you I've done very specific things in my life because I said I need to find a way to like this. Mm-hmm. This is really paying off for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It would be horrible if I didn't like it. Mm-hmm. So, because then I would be making money not liking it. So I have to find a way sure. to find joy in the things that actually pays off pretty good. Sure. I'm sure pickleball brings you business. Uh, Some way, shape, or know. form. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but it certainly gets you talking to people. 